When it comes to young footballers, very few have the same potential as shown by Dejan Kulusevski. This Swedish Macedonian player has already proven himself to be an extremely valuable player at a young age. And in this video, we'll be taking a look at how he got his start, some notable moments in his career, and his prospects for the future. Now, without any further ado, let's begin. Dejan Kulusevski was born on April 25th, 2000, in the largest city of Sweden, Stockholm. His parents were immigrants from North Macedonia who moved to Sweden to to find a better life for their family. He has one older sister named Sandra, and growing up, he spoke Macedonian at home and Swedish with his friends. He speaks three more languages, Italian, English, and German, which officially makes him a polyglot. Dayan had a very comfortable life growing up, unlike a lot of footballers that make it to the top. His parents were able to get him anything he wanted, and naturally, this also meant they could help him pursue his passion for football. Dayan was always interested in football. He would spend hours watching and practicing football with his friends, sister, and even his parents. Upon turning six, his parents enrolled him into IF Broma Poikana Youth Academy, where he would receive his first bit of real football training. Surprisingly, no one really thought of Dejan as a good player when he was in the academy. There were always other kids that performed way better than him, and Dejan sort of always just blended into the background. Despite that, Dejan's parents never took him out of the academy. They knew that that was his passion, so they just told him to stay motivated and keep striving to become better. The only problem was the fact that there weren't a lot of opportunities in Sweden. As the years passed by, Kulusevski stayed with his youth academy in hopes that an offer would come from somewhere as he got older. Despite not being considered a top player, well into his teenage years, Kulusevski would get the opportunity of a lifetime in 2015, right as he was about to turn 15. The Macedonian national under-17 team offered Dejan a spot, and it made perfect sense. Macedonia is a very small and poor country. They don't have the talent pool nor the infrastructure to create a formidable team. So so they often have to rely on their diaspora and youth academies across Europe to build up their team. For Dejan, there was no other choice. He wasn't receiving offers from any other teams, so he decided to take up the offer of playing for his parents' native land. Since Dejan was trained at one of the top youth academies in Sweden, his skills were far superior when compared to a lot of his Macedonian-born teammates. But playing for a national team level also meant that Dejan was now on the radar of a lot of teams. This was the most pivotal moment of his career up until now. He only played for the Macedonian under-17 team for about a year, making a total of five appearances and scoring six goals. After his brief stint at the Macedonian under-17, he was quickly picked up by the Swedish under-17 team this time. Additionally, he also started playing for the Atalanta youth team in Italy. Of course, the competition from his own teammates on this team was far greater than in Macedonia, which is why he wasn't really the standout player of the team. But regardless, he performed great for the Swedish team as well. He scored six goals and made over 19 appearances for the team. After that, he turned 17, so he was ineligible for under-17 teams. He was quickly picked up by the Swedish under-19 team, where in two years, he made 13 appearances and scored two goals. Even though the scores weren't as good as before, you have to understand that the level of competition kept getting greater and greater. Meanwhile, he kept impressing the Atalanta youth team, and he was eventually called up to join the main team upon turning 19. He played only three matches with the team, scoring no goals, and eventually he was loaned to the Italian Serie A club Parma for an undisclosed sum. This gave Kulusevski a level of international exposure that he never had before, which is why he knew he had to prove himself as a player. From 2019 to 2020, Dejan went head-to-head -head with some of the best players in the Serie A, scoring a total of four goals in his 19 appearances. This got him the attention of one of the most successful clubs in Italy, Juventus. Juventus ended up signing Dejan for 35 million euros, which is a record for a Macedonian origin player. But he was still a very young player, and to get the most return on investment, Juventus decided to loan him back to Parma for the remainder of the season. There, he made 19 appearances, scored 6 goals, and made 7 assists, which was a massive improvement. Because of this performance, Dejan received the Serie A Best Young Player Award after the end of the season. In the 2020-21 season, Dejan officially made his Juventus debut. Despite intense competition, Dejan continued to impress wherever he played. With his help, Juventus made the 2021 Coppa Italia finals against his former team Atalanta. Kulusevski's knowledge of his former team proved to be extremely valuable in this high-stakes match. He managed to score the opening goal of the finals, and later in the match, he helped set up the winning goal of the game, getting an assist and securing the victory for Juventus in the final. He wasn't named man of the match for that game, but he was all anyone could talk about. At the very least, he proved his worth to Juventus. However, Dejan's playtime 
time was greatly reduced after Massimiliano Allegri took over as Juventus coach. It seemed like Allegri cared more about the senior players instead of building up a new one, but he still recognized the potential that Dejan had. That's why in 2022, Dejan was loaned to the Premier League team Tottenham for 18 months for a sum of 10 million euros. The loan also had a 35 million euro option for a purchase. This was an opportunity of a lifetime for Kulusevski. The Premier League is the most watched football league in the world, and playing for Spurs would undoubtedly increase his value as a player massively. He made his first appearance for Spurs on February 5th, 2022 against Brighton. Just 14 days later, he scored his first goal for Spurs in a winning effort against Manchester City, the team top of the league. He played 18 matches throughout the season, getting 8 assists and 5 goals. He performed far better than anyone had expected him to. He set a record of most assists in the first 15 games with 8, beating Kevin De Bruyne, Ozil, Mata and Fernandez. Now, with the Premier League over and an entire season's worth of time left on his loan, one can only wonder where his career is headed next. He has proven himself again and again with different teams, whether it was the Macedonian team, Juventus or Tottenham. It seems like the Spurs are keen on signing Dejan permanently. Right now, Dejan might just be one of the brightest prospects in the world of football. Only time will tell what sort of incredible offers he's going to receive, and considering the fact that he's so young, he has plenty of time to improve even more. It will be very interesting to see what he can do this season. That's a wrap for this video. How impressed are you with Kulusevski? Let us know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.